Kettlebells are an excellent option for building strength, cardiovascular fitness, power, and functional fitness. They offer unique properties for challenging your balance in novel ways and provide weight distribution that is unique from barbells or dumbbells. When you think of losing weight, weight training is not exactly the first thought. It's usually running and heat. However, the kettlebell is a type of free weight that has a special place in the weight loss category. With kettlebell training, you can burn a ton of calories, lose fat, and boost your aerobic capacity, all while increasing your strength and putting on muscle. Today we will introduce to you how you can lose weight in the form of fat with kettlebells. We will provide specific exercise examples as well, so you will know exactly how to approach your fat loss goals with kettlebell workouts. Keep watching our video to learn more about this issue. Please subscribe and comment in case you liked our contents. Now let's get started. Are kettlebell workouts better than running for fat loss? Running is undoubtedly effective for losing fat. However, running for long periods of time will cause your muscles to break down due to cortisol release a stress hormone. As for kettlebell workouts, the average workout burns more calories in a shorter time than running unless you are running at a very high pace, in which case it can be similar. Also, with kettlebell training, you won't be sacrificing muscle loss, and we all know the more muscle you keep on, the more calories you burn while resting. Because of this, kettlebell training is clearly more effective. How many calories can a kettlebell workout burn? A study by the American Council on Exercise ACE found that the average person can burn 400 calories in just 20 minutes. So, 20 calories a minute, which is the equivalent to running a 6-minute mile. Let's compare more normal weightlifting and resistance training. 350-450 calories per hour 5.87. 5 calories per minute running. 300-400 calories per half hour 10-13 calories per minute so, considering most people can burn 20 calories a minute, which is 600 calories per half hour, you can see that kettlebells are the best option for fat loss. After all, more calories burned means greater weight loss fat loss. Burn fat while maintaining muscle. With kettlebell training, you will be burning fat without losing muscle. Kettlebell fat loss workouts are a mix or aerobic and anaerobic training, so you get the best of both worlds. Again, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn. Therefore, this is a major benefit of using kettlebells for your fat loss goals. Overall, if your goal is to increase your metabolism, which will help you lose weight without needing to cut back so much on your eating, then you definitely want to maintain muscle or even put on some muscle with kettlebells. You can do this if you eat a high protein diet. How to lose weight with kettlebells. You can just pick up a kettlebell and lose fat without knowing what you are doing. Follow the four points and we guarantee you will shred fat, lose weight and keep muscle mass so you look like a lean, mean, fighting machine. Grinds versus ballistics. Let's start off with the basics. There are two types of kettlebell exercises. Grinds and ballistics. Kettlebell grinds involve slow, controlled movements with heavy kettlebells, relative to your strength. Grinds aim to cause a lot of tension, and time under tension, for the purpose of hypertrophy and strength. Examples of kettlebell grinds, front squat, military presses, sumo deadlifts, kettlebell ballistics involve swinging motions that move you through at least two planes of motion. Ballistic exercises are explosive and dynamic. They are meant to burn a lot of calories and improve conditioning. That said, they will also help you increase strength and muscle endurance and they can even build muscle if you use heavy enough dumbbells as it will put you in an anaerobic state, which boosts testosterone levels. Examples of kettlebell ballistics, kettlebell swings, cleans, snatches. With kettlebell ballistics, you will typically use a lighter weight than you would for grinds. Moreover, you will be doing more reps. With grinds, you will do a 10 reps. With ballistics, you are doing at least 10 reps and as many as 30 reps. Therefore, a lighter weight, relative to your strength, is necessary. How heavy should my kettlebell be for fat loss ballistic exercises? 
The general starting weights for ballistic exercises are as follows, men, 26 pounds, 12 kilograms, to 35 pounds, 16 kilograms, women, 18 pounds, 8 kilograms, to 26 pounds, 12 kilograms. If you are very athletic, you can increase the weight slightly when starting off. Use your own judgment. Make note. Kettlebell ballistics are more complex than grinds as the exercises are based on movement patterns rather than a single plane of motion, so using a lighter weight to start off is smart as to avoid any injury and to get the form down correctly. Best Kettlebell Exercises for Fat Loss 1. Kettlebell Squat Almost every muscle in the body is activated during this kettlebell exercise, plus it is very cardiovascular so will raise the heart rate quickly. The kettlebell squat also acts as a pumping mechanism driving blood around the body and lubricating our joints with healthy nutrients. It's also excellent for opening up the lower back and preventing lower back pain. The depth of the kettlebell squat is very important. The thighs must drop down to parallel with the floor in order to properly activate the buttock muscles. 2. Kettlebell Swing Kettlebell swings for fat loss, like the squat and press. Work most muscles in the body but has more of an emphasis on the back. The hamstrings, buttocks, lower, mid and upper back all work hard during the kettlebell swing for weight loss. It has the advantage of not using such a deep knee bend as the squat so is good for those suffering from bad knees. The kettlebell swing is also very cardiovascular. Swinging and absorbing the kettlebell weight in between the legs takes a lot of energy. As with the squat and press the feet do not need to move so impact is very low and minimal space is required. The top part of the swing is also very powerful at developing the ABS when performed correctly as it simulates a standing dynamic plank position. Three kettlebell clean and press. The kettlebell clean and press is a slightly more technical kettlebell exercise for fat loss. Just like the swing and thruster but it uses most of the muscles in the body. The kettlebell clean and press is based off the deadlift movement pattern which simulates how you should pick anything heavy up from the floor. The legs, hips, buttocks, core and back are heavily involved in the kettlebell clean movement. Beginners should start with just the kettlebell clean and when mastered add the press to the movement. Again the feet do not need to move so it's an excellent kettlebell fat loss exercise for small spaces and for those trying to avoid impact. When in full flow the clean and press is also very cardiovascular because the heart has to work hard to move the kettlebell from the floor to the top position and back down again. 4. Kettlebell Lunge and Press Everyone should master the kettlebell squat before attempting the kettlebell lunge or they may feel it in their knees due to a lack of strength. You also get a huge amount of cardiovascular output from the kettlebell lunge which often surprises many people. The kettlebell lunge has lots of crossover for sports and improves hip mobility for daily life. The kettlebell lunge must be mastered first before attempting to add the overhead press to the movement. As with the squat the depth of the movement is very important in order to fully activate the fat burning buttocks. Ensure that the rear knee kisses or gets very close to the floor with every repetition. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Also kindly check our website www.fitnessalways.com for shopping of the best health and fitness products online.